the mimetic theory is a theory first about the role of imitation in uh, individual life and in human culture. People imitate much more than we realize. If people didn't imitate, there wouldn't be languages. And yet you feel it's dangerous? And imitation is dangerous precisely because it leads you to the same objects, the same things. Conflict is the most normal thing for human beings. Today it's fashionable to be against rules, against laws, and people say that prohibitions, cultural prohibitions, are just due to the desire of, uh, for instance, they will say, the old people to prevent the good, uh, the young people to have fun because they cannot, this isn't true. This is absolute nonsense, you see what I mean? It's always to prevent the type of rivalry I'm talking about. A scapegoat phenomenon and when a whole, is when a whole community turns against one of its members only and everybody becomes united against that member. And I think it's a result of the mimesis of desire. There comes a point when the mimesis of desire creates too much trouble, when there is a tendency for everybody to converge mimetically against the same enemy. It's very bad for that poor scapegoat, but it's very good for the community, because when they all agree that he is responsible for everything, they kill him, they uh, expel him, and so forth, and they feel reconciled. You've said that this whole process happens invisibly. It happens invisibly in the sense that people don't understand its social function, which is a creation of archaic religion. This whole dynamic is both exactly the same in Christianity. Jesus is an innocent who is scapegoated. But the difference with an archaic religion is an archaic religion won't tell you that the God is a scapegoat. The God is first very bad, then he becomes very good. But most gods, if you look at Zeus and the gods of Greek religion, for instance, they are criminals. But they are no longer criminals, they are gods. But they are both gods and criminals. Why are they all criminals? Because originally they were scapegoats.